copies. All right, hey, I'm going to read something from Deuteronomy chapter 20. This is going to be about the law of warfare. And why I'm going to read this is because the lion, the theme of the, the lamb and the lion, the two roles of the Messiah, the peaceful one to come and save us from sin, being the lamb and the lion being the ferocious, roaring, defeating, conquering king, uh, is Jesus at his second advent. But I think there's even something described in the law here about this. Deuteronomy 20, verse 10, God says, When thou comest nigh unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it. Verse 11, And it shall be, if it shall make thee an answer of peace, and open it unto thee, then it shall be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee, and they shall serve thee. So the, they would first offer peace in war. And then, if they accepted the peace covenant, remember Jesus would be the peace covenant, then you would be his servant, right? You'd serve the kingdom of God. Verse 12, but And if it will make no peace with thee, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege it. So even in the law of warfare, God said you shall first offer peace. If they reject that peace, then you go and you conquer them. Well, Jesus at his first advent offered peace to the world, peace to the heathen. Whomsoever shall believe upon him shall be saved. But when he comes back, those that rejected his offer of peace will be conquered. They will be defeated. God will defeat the kings of this earth, as Psalms chapter 2 declares, the kings of the earth that have set themselves against his anointed, against the Messiah. They will be defeated, literally and physically. All right, moving on. Zechariah 9 11, as for thee, by the blood of the covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Now that's fascinating. The, the, the prisoners out of the pit, this, I believe this has to do with uh, Jesus saving us from sin. From that miry, deep pit 